हेलो एवरी वन आई एम अजय बेनीवाल फ्रॉम इंडियन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी अलाहाबाद द टॉपिक ऑफ माई प्रेजेंटेशन फॉर द एक्सेप्टेड मेनोस्क्रिप्ट इज यू वी ट्रीटेड सोल्जर सिंथेसाइज एस एन ओटो पोलीपाइरोल सेंसर फॉर अल्ट्रा लो अमोनिया डिटेक्शन एट रूम टेम्परेचर बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द प्रेजेंटेशन आई अजय बेनीवाल एंड माई सुपरवाइजर डॉक्टर सनी वुड लाइक टू थैंक द कॉन्फ्रेंस कमेटी फॉर प्रोवाइडिंग अस द अपॉर्चुनिटी टू प्रेजेंट अवर एक्सेप्टेड मेनोस्क्रिप्ट थ्रू ऑनलाइन में This presentation consists of introduction followed by the experimental work then IV characteristics analysis and sensing process SAM AFM and EDX analysis sensing properties conclusion and references The major findings of the present work includes the effect of UV illumination which has significantly improved the sensing parameters of the fabricated SNO2 polypyrrole composite waste ammonia sensor To fabricate the sensor, a facile and cost-effective soldier spin coating technique has been utilized, which is followed by the polymerization of the pyrrole monomers to develop the SNO2 PPY composite. Furthermore, the electrical characterization, topography, elemental analysis, and surface morphology of the fabricated layer have been examined using the IV characteristics measurement, atomic force microscopy, energy dispersive X-ray spectroscopy, and scanning electron microscope, respectively. Moreover the originality of this work exists in resolving the recovery issue which was existing in the as such fabricated SNO2 polypyrrole based ammonia sensor as well as developing the room temperature operated ultra sensitive ammonia sensor with having rapid response and recovery time Ammonia is an extremely hazardous yet an important chemical compound which is being used in various applications therefore the detection of ammonia is necessary Hence, to fabricate the ammonia sensor, the synergetic behavior of metal oxides and conducting polymer is used in the present work, because while investigations reveal that the high surface area of these composites efficiently facilitate the analyte sensing through providing special chemical and physical properties. Therefore, in the present work, SNO2 polypyrrole composite is used for the development of the ammonia sensor. Next slide is about the experimental work. A simple sole gel spin coating method was used to obtain approximately 4 micron thick SNO2 layer on interdigitated gold electrodes patterned on alumina substrate. As pyrimidine oxide layer is further used for the development of the PPY coated SNO2 sensors. Two samples were simultaneously exposed to the pyrrole monomers in a closed chamber in order to obtain PPY coated SNO2 sensors that is sensor 1 and sensor 2 where the sensor 2 is the replica of the sensor 1. Sensor 1 is directly used for the ammonia sensing applications whereas the sensor 2 is further treated with the UV illumination. The IV characteristics analysis and the sensing process are shown in the figure 1A and B respectively. The acquired result clearly indicate the ohmic behavior in both the cases that is pre and post UV treatment representing the stable electrical characteristics of the sensor. Moreover the increase in conductivity is evident in the post UV treatment case as compared to the pre UV treatment case. Figure 1B clearly represent the schematic illustration of the analyte sensing process. The surface morphology, surface topography and elemental analysis have been analyzed using SAM, AFM and EDX analysis as shown in the figure 2A to D. Figure 2A and B clearly represents the SAM results which are showing the globular like morphology along with the open spaces in the layer. These open spaces or we can say the voids on the layer may be suitable for the analyte sensing as they are expected to provide more adsorption and desorption site furthermore a more close investigation as shown in the figure in set of 2b reveals that the grain sizes are found to be in range 40 to 50 nanometer further the afm image as shown in the figure 2c represents the coarseness and asperities in the sensing layer surface The presence of these agglomerated nanograins on the wavy structure surface is believed to significantly contributing towards the effective surface area along with providing more adsorption and desorption sites for the analyte sensing. Moreover, the EDX analysis as represented in the figure 2D shows the presence of elements tin, oxygen, carbon and nitrogen as anticipated for accomplishing the presence of SNO2 PPY composite. Now we are approaching towards the ammonia sensing properties of both the sensors. The ammonia sensing capabilities of both the sensors that is sensor 1 and sensor 2 are extensively studied at the room temperature. The responses of both the sensors are analyzed in concentration range from 0.1 ppm to 10 ppm of ammonia. The ammonia sensing characteristics of the sensor 1 are shown in the figure 3A. 
The results shown in the figure 3a shows that upon injecting the ammonia in the analyte sensing chamber, the resistance of the sensor is perceived to be increasing, which may be ascribed to the p-type behavior of the polypyrrole. From the obtained results, the response duration of the sensor are found as rapid as 15 seconds, 21 seconds, 22 seconds, 73 seconds and 95 seconds for 0.1 ppm, 0.5 ppm, 1 ppm, 5 ppm and 10 ppm respectively. Therefore, the response time of the sensor is found quite appreciable at the room temperature. However, the recovery process of the sensor during all the measurements is exhibiting the incapability of the sensor to return back to its original baseline resistance after the ammonia removal, which is showing the baseline instability of the sensor S1. This recovery issue in the sensor may be existing due to the lack of protonation of nitrogen in polypyrrole during desorption of the ammonia. This staircase response of the sensor S1 represents toward the non-suitability of the sensor for the practical applications. Moreover, the percentage response of the sensor 1 is analyzed by considering the initial baseline resistance for all the measurements as shown in the figure 3b. Percentage responses are found to be 12.9%, 22.8%, 36.1%, 54.8% and 81.5% for 0.1 ppm, 0.5 ppm, 1 ppm, 5 ppm and to resolve the recovery problem existing in the sensor 1, the replica of the sensor 1, that is sensor 2, is further exposed to the UV illumination at 254 nanometer for an hour. The effect of UV illumination on baseline resistance of the sensor is shown in the figure 4. The baseline resistance of the sensor 2 is observed to be decreasing with the UV treatment as shown in the figure 4. This decrease in baseline resistance of the sensor may be ascribed to the augmentation of the conducting charge carriers in the sensing layer after UV treatment. Further, the ammonia sensing properties of the sensor 2 are analyzed for the same concentration range that is 0.1 ppm to 10 ppm at room temperature as shown in the figure 5a. From the obtained results, it is observed that the recovery problem which was existing in the sensor 1 is completely resolved. The sensor 2 has the ability to recover back to its original that is initial baseline resistance for all the sensing measurements. This may be achieved due to the additional electron hole pair generation after UV illumination which may be supporting the protonation of nitrogen in polypyrrole during the recovery process. Hence, it is observed that the UV treatment of the sensing layer is playing an important role and assisting the device towards proper recovery after ammonia removal. Furthermore, the enhancement in the percentage response of the sensor 2 is also observed as shown in the figure 5b after UV treatment as compared to sensor 1. The percentage responses are found to be 16.1%, 31.4%, 41.9%, 98.2%, 97.5%, 94.7% and 174.7% for 0.1 ppm, 0.5 ppm, 1 ppm, 5 ppm and 10 ppm of ammonia. This increase in percentage response may be attributed to the increased carrier density. The response the sensing sensing layer surface of the fabricated sensor 2 are also observed as shown in the figure 6a. The response times are observed to be in range. 12 seconds to 56 seconds for 0.1 ppm to 10 ppm of ammonia whereas the recovery times are observed to be in range 8 seconds to 36 seconds for the same ammonia concentration range. In addition, the selective nature of the sensor 2 is also analyzed by exposing the sensor under other analytes that is ethanol, methanol, 2-propanol and acetone along with the ammonia exposure. The responses of the other analytes are observed at 1 ppm and 10 ppm at room temperature and further compared with the ammonia responses as shown in the figure 6b. The results which are obtained from the 6b clearly represents the highly selective nature of the fabricated sensor towards the ammonia detection as compared to the other analytes. Therefore, the obtained results suggest the suitability of the sole gel synthesized UV treated SNO2-PPY sensor towards obtaining the highly selective and sensitive responses for ammonia detection with appreciable rapid response and recovery times at room temperature. Hence the presented work can be concluded by representing the significance of the UV treatment in resolving the recovery issue along with developing ultra sensitive ammonia sensor having the ability to detect ultra low concentrations with considerable sensing characteristics.
So here in the inorganic and organic that is metal oxide and conducting polymer composite waste sensor has been synthesized using a cost effective and facile sol gel spin coating technique followed it by the vapor phase polymerization. However, the as fabricated sensor is not found suitable for the practical applications due to its incapability towards proper recovery, representing the baseline instability in the sensor. Therefore, to settle down the recovery problem which was existing in the sensor, replica of the sensor is illuminated to the UV light. This UV treatment resolved the recovery issue along with providing improved ammonia sensing characteristics that is enhanced percentage response and rapid response and recovery times. Hence the presented work represents the suitability of the fabricated sensor towards practical applications for ammonia detection. Here are the few references which are used inside the presented work. Furthermore, the author would like to acknowledge the Indian Institute of Information Technology, Allahabad, India for supporting this research work under Seed Money Research Grant. In addition, the authors are also thankful to the MSc Department of IIT Kanpur for providing the structural characterization facilities. Thank you so much for your kind patience and listening. You all are requested to kindly send the queries, if any, to the given email addresses. Thank you so much again.